what it is, what it do. Peace and love to all the guys and goddess in the high vibrating species on the planet. How we living out there, good people. Welcome back to the channel. Come on in, come on in, come on in. We got SCPs, my friend. Yes. The realm of the monsters. We love it. It's what we do over here. We get into it, y'all. We really get into it. I don't know what everybody else be doing, but we really get into it over here. We get into the mix, man. You know what I'm talking about? Into the mix, man. Figuring out all the stuff that's been over here hot. But I hope everybody good, though. You know what I mean? Uh, where my academates at? <laughs> academates. <laughs> Come on in here, man. I see y'all. Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. You feel? Because y'all know what we finna do right about this time. Y'all know what I mean? We got uh, SCP-2001. The Space Oddity. 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 Yeah. Space Oddity. You know what I mean? We got another mind effector, so you know, put your thinking caps on, uh, put on your 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 tin foil hats and all that good stuff there. <laughs> you feel me? Cause it's about to go down. All right, all right, all right. Y'all good out there though, right? We good, right? Right. All right, man. I hope everybody good because I am groovy. You know what I mean? I got my grapes over here. You feel me? So I can get my naturals water going on. My naturals. Mm. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to smack in your ear. Your ear. My bad. And y'all do know. We do have a little numerology. Uh, we do have that number three if you haven't saw so and added it up and already went through your, your notes to see what the three entails, you know. Um, but just get if you haven't. Oh, my bad. Shadow Law. Well, hello. Get your ace in the back. Ace in the back. And shut it, please. You know what I'm saying? Come on in and get your ace in the back. Please, in the back. Thank you. All right. If you're new, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. After all, we are dealing with shadow law putting pressure. So we have to put the pressure back on for that algorithm. It's a fight for the algae round here. You know what I'm talking about? We're trying to get up in that thing because we have a lot of uh, great pointers and perspectives to share with the rest of the world. So, uh, um. On behalf of myself and, and, and the Academy, uh, Academy 7 that is, we, we humbly appreciate you and we humbly welcome you and we are gracious for all the likes, all the shares, all the subscriptions. We really do appreciate the class participation and all of that good stuff. Let's keep it going guys because it helps us with the algorithm and I really do appreciate the help that you guys give me. And gals, of course, that y'all give me all the guys and goddesses and the high vibrating species on the planet. For those that's vibing low, we're trying to get you to vibe high. We understand that some of y'all are just programmed to be what you're going to be. And we cannot force you to be something that you're not. All right. Just like here on this channel, we don't force any beliefs. We just ask that you do your due diligence as myself and staff. And the rest of the academies. Excuse me. And draw your own conclusion i'm not here to say whether it's belief real or not i'm drawing my conclusion for the research that i do for myself and you should do the same for yourself even though you may like the scps and you may like what all this information entails there may actually be some truth and realism behind it and that's what we're here to discover and um disclose for everybody else okay or should i say in disclose for everybody else you know what I'm saying? And we got okay, so let's get to these. Okay, that's that's a that's a whole nother note for a whole nother situation on the back there. Uh we got the positives and the negatives. For those that are new, we do numerology, we do etymology, um we do a little little thorough research on certain things before we uh, actually get into it to see what kind of triggers, uh, trigger words we can pull and see if we can dig a little deeper into these SCPs or into 
uh, the council or anything else dealing with these anomalies, all right? So that's the whole bit about the etymology and uh, the numerology. Of course, these things can coexist with your life as well. And at the same time, still with the disclosure of we don't ask that you believe. We ask that you take the information, what resonates, pick up and put down what doesn't leave for somebody else. Uh, share this information with other people that you think it may help. But at the end of the day, do your own due diligence because there's so much more information in, in um, surrounding these numbers, surrounding these words, than meets the eye. And a note card is not going to be enough for you, okay? So this is just a couple things, all right? So for the positives, we have creative, artistic, confident, articulate, and musical. For the negative, we have vain, shallow, boastful, jealous, extravagant, show-off, and self-indulgent. We also have a couple of uh, occupations here, which is artist, actor, poet, a writer, dancer, entertainer, circus performer. And we have a tarot card, which is the Empress card, and that is the ruler of communications. All right. So, like I said, there is so much more that goes with the number three, especially when you get the master number 33, 11, 11, 22 and things of that nature. Um, so. That's more information for you to do homework on and you to grasp to gra gather your energies throughout your days and maybe it can help you maybe not maybe we're going to hit some trigger words on the scps that we're dealing with maybe not we don't we don't go in and saying yeah we're definitely going to do it no we don't we just call out the words if we get some hits we do if we don't we don't um at the end of the day we're still going to take this information for uh what it is and do with it what we can and when I tell you that we do uh, some side sidebars, I love staff because staff really be working some of the sidebar stuff, right? So just like this, we have SCP-2001 in its space oddity. Now, what she, yeah, shout out to her because this one, you know what I'm saying? She, she, really, she really snapped on this one because I, I, I had no clue. Um, and the rest of, rest of everybody else be like, dang, uh, we looking crazy. Because I didn't know. I heard about it, but I, I, I didn't think it. You feel me? But we got we got the movie Space Odyssey. So we got space the uh, a space oddity, and then we got movie the movie Space Odyssey, right? And it was a it's a 1968 film. But the significance about such film in Space Odyssey is it was spoken about again in the year 2001. Hmm. Hmm. That's why we do research, guys. <laughs> and that's why we use critical thinking because, you know, it's, it's 2024 and she hit the mark with the Space Odyssey and the SCP being 2001. And she thought about that year of 2001 and they spoke about Space o Odyssey. And this is Space Oddity. So that's, I don't do coincidence. I'm definitely looking at the irony here. And I guess we're going to have to just iron this out and see how straight and creased out we can get this situation to see why, why, is, it, uh, why is it sinking like that. So this 2001 is very significant. And again, we got our trigger words from the positives to the negatives, a couple of occupations. And now it's time for us to get to what it is that we do. Blue light. All right. So I hope you got what you need because I do. And without further ado, Academy 8, salute to you. All right. I get that thing. Boss. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dr. Miller, and the SCP Miller, we're going to be looking at today is SCP-2001. Okay. Object class, Keter. Really fun year for me. Special containment procedures. No means of containment or prevention of SCP-2001 is currently available to the Foundation. In lieu of this, several alternative procedures have been established. 
gamma-type individuals and beta-type individuals not affiliated with NASA or any other space-related organization should be monitored and detained if necessary. Individuals employed or affiliated with space-related organizations who show signs of gamma or beta-type infection should be removed from service and administered amnestics. Effective October 21, 2000. All individuals afflicted with alpha-type symptoms should be detained in wing of sector. Under no circumstances should alpha-type individuals be allowed access to any astronomical or spacefaring equipment. Mandatory SCP-2001 screening is in effect for all Foundation staff. Addendum, April 22nd, 1990. In light of Incident 2001-1990, A. All Foundation employees showing symptoms of SCP-2001 are to be removed from service immediately. See Incident Report 2001-1990-A. Level 4 Clearance or Higher. Description. SCP-2001 is an anomalous series of neural oscillations that occur during three of the four stages of human sleep. During one of these three stages, the amygdala spontaneously enters a state of heightened activity for a period of 10 to 15 minutes. Awakening the subject during this period appears to immediately switch the response of the individual to alpha type regardless of the sleep stage in which SCP-2001 activity occurs. At the conclusion of SCP-2001's active state, the subject is conditioned to one of three responses, designated alpha, beta, and gamma, depending on the sleep stage in which SCP-2001 occurred. SCP-2001 appears to show no increased presence in individuals of any race, creed, right. or gender. So what about Delta in Theta? Because I know Delta, boy, you, hey, hey. You can get some. You can get some work done. <laughs> you can get some work done and dealt. I mean, you probably possible. I mean, it's it's possible to get it get 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 it busting in uh, in theta too. But I know delta is where it's at. No genetic abnormalities have been associated with SCP two thousand one. Spectrographic no, analysis. Oh, excuse me. It's theta. Theta is where it is. You can get some work done in theta. Thank thank yourself. Yeah. So it's yeah. Yes, of SCP-2001 suggests that its presence may not be intraneural, rather that it may originate from an outside source. Of particular note is the fact that SCP-2001, particularly the Alpha strain, has recently begun affecting a proportionally large population of astronomers, astronauts, and individuals who otherwise deal with space. Individuals who already possess a critical attitude towards space exploration generally exhibit no anomalous effects from SCP-2001 activity. There appear to be three types of responses to SCP-2001 infection. SCP-2001 has not been documented to occur in the first stage of NREM sleep. Gamma. Subjects who experience SCP-2001 during the second stage of NERM, non-rapid eye movement sleep, are designated gamma-type individuals. Gamma-type individuals are almost indistinguishable from the ordinary population, save from a disparaging attitude towards the topic of space travel. Gamma-type individuals show an active aversion to discussing space or space exploration in conversations and will avoid any and all organizations pertaining to the study and development of human space exploration. It is estimated that percent of the population is currently affected by gamma-type symptoms of SCP-2001. Beta. Subjects who experience SCP-2001 during the third stage of NERM sleep are designated beta-type individuals. Beta-type individuals are characterized by a distinct opposition to space exploration. Beta-type individuals will denounce the importance and safety of space travel in conversations, citing it as extremely dangerous or fruitless. Also common among beta-type individuals is the tendency to construct elaborate conspiracy theories regarding humans in space. An estimate Hold on. Okay, hold on. percent of popular space-related conspiracies are directly linked to one or more beta-type carriers, including Of note is the fact that the aforementioned individual had never had contact with the SCP Foundation or any of its affiliates. Alpha. The presence of SCP-2001 during any stage of REM sleep produces an alpha-type individual. Alpha-type individuals actively attempt to stop or sabotage all forms of space travel. 
Individuals displaying symptoms of alpha-type infection will attempt to harm or otherwise interfere with individuals, centers, and activities that pertain to space research or travel. An alpha-positive foundation researcher was directly responsible for incident 2001-1990. A. Level 4 clearance or higher. Document 2001-1. Incident report. 2001-1990. A. Level 4 clearance required. Deploying security memetic now. Date, April 22nd, 1990. Location, Foundation Outpost 12 within NASA Command. Coordinates. Note. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Cthulhu. Don't let it go over your head. Say hello to Cthulhu. Junior researcher was in perfect mental health at the time of the incident. No, he was not insane. No, he was not under any form of psychic control. He was an alpha-type carrier of SCP-2001, and that is all. Doctor. The following takes place during the launch of SCP-S, a manned Foundation shuttle tasked with the investigation of SCP. A crew of Foundation supervisors were on hand to ensure safe takeoff and report any anomalous activity. Junior researcher was tasked with the observation of status readings. 12.37 p.m. Head researcher reports successful preparation for liftoff of SCPS. 12.37 p.m. Junior researcher reported to become extremely agitated. 12.38 p.m. SCPS achieves liftoff. 12.38 p.m. Researcher begins yelling unintelligibly to nearby staff. 12.38 p.m. Junior researcher produces unknown artifact resembling control pad now classified as SCP. 12.38 p.m. Researcher begins to operate unknown artifact. SCPS reports several system failures. 12.39 p.m. Unknown artifact is confiscated by Dr. SCPS reports total loss of power. 12.39 p.m. Communications with SCPS cease. Exterior hull of SCPS begins to break down. The resulting explosion was explained to onlookers and the press as a GPS satellite that had suffered a fuel leak during launch. No Foundation witnesses were administered amnestics. Following the above events and posthumous diagnosis of junior researcher with SCP-2001, containment procedures were altered to provide stricter containment of SCP-2001 alpha carriers. Full documentation including termination report can be found at Document SCP-2001-9 Excerpt from Journal of Junior Researchers Level 4 Clearance Required Security Memetic Deployed April 21st, 1990 I wish to state first that my mind and body are perfectly sound. I am prepared to submit myself to any and all tests to prove that I am clean. I have the answer to SCP-2001. Just yesterday, during an interview with an Alpha Infected D-Class, I was asked a question that stopped my mind for a minute. The woman I was interviewing asked me if I knew the Foundation was right. I said no, I wasn't sure. Then she asked me, what if we were right? I could only assume that by we she meant 2001 carriers. I said nothing for a while, and then she spoke. She told me of a dream she'd had a while ago. She said that something talked to her, told her about how dangerous outer space was. It showed her the beasts that roamed the void between the stars, about the fractal beings that absorbed the very fabric of reality, about the that were keeping in that godforsaken door. And she was scared. She told me that at the end of the dream, as she woke up, it told her what it was. It's all of space. Space fears for us. We're living, breathing life forms, and space loves us and cherishes us. She asked me if I had any idea what the chances of intelligent life forming on another planet are, and then she told me a number that took a minute and a half to recite. By this point, I couldn't speak. I started thinking about the demographics of infection, about the symptoms, about... And suddenly, it all made sense. Some of the things she said stuck in my brain and they all added up to the same thing. We're in grave danger if we go out there. We can't go out there. We can't go out there. We can't. There's a reason behind SCP-2001, and it's nowhere near as terrifying as all my colleagues think. 
Space wants to protect us. There are things out there that would wipe humanity clean off this plane of existence. And we're too precious to our mother, to our host, to the universe we live in, for her to allow that to happen. What I'm going to do tomorrow is not a result of infection. It's not a result of madness. It's not a result of anything other than purest knowledge. You see, I found out the truth. And it's more beautiful than I ever could have dreamed. Click up. Hey. The boy. <clears throat> I don't know if that's Dr. Miller that lost him shits. <laughs> or if he was speaking in, a, in, in third person to somebody else. Yeah, be it. But this right here, I'm going to show y'all some real information that, that is the truth. And if you sit back and you think about it, some other things that you that you may feel is the real is going to dissolve. And then you're going to have to revamp some of the stuff that you were learning and start filling in the blanks again. It's going to make sense. And you, you'll get it. And it's like, oh, man. Yeah, it's one of it's one of them, but right here, y'all. There are things out there that would wipe out humanity. This is true, very true. It's it's one one's one's getting it cracking right now. <laughs> Best believe that, and they're not talking about it, but it's cool. You feel it. Uh, yeah, you feel it. And we are. Here's the key too precious to our mother to our host to the universe we live in for her to allow that to happen her universe host mother our precious existence God the ultimate none higher your most high not the one in the book that lays that claim no no it's her a woman great mother that's what I call her and that's who sent me here to the SCP Foundation and to the realm of the monsters because I love such things and she knew it. So she sent me directly here to uh, bring it to y'all in the way that you need it brought to you. Now that is Cthulhu back there. I'm not going to front. And that's one of the things that she fears because Cthulhu also thinks that him is the ultimate most high if you get into the actual story of Cthulhu which is an SCP by the way what are the odds of that happening the oddity <laughs> what are the odds of that happening right so we got a lot of entities here anomalies here that are 1010% real on a dimension or a frequency that a lot of people here aren't on yet keyword yet but soon to come all right and y'all must prepare your minds for this prepare your minds for this this preparing your mind or it it prepares the body okay in a sense there's still works that the body has to physically do to get prepared but ultimately if you're preparing the mind the mind knows what the body needs to do to get in shape for frequency change evolution evolutionary change and development and balance the mind knows what the body needs once the mind is equipped so that's why it's always a battle for your mind again space odyssey is a mind affecting scp so there's always a mind thing going on here all right uh, believe me it's all about the mind if they get your mind they got your body there's nothing that you there's no fighting needed once they have your mind I mean that's why Professor X and Jean Grey were so important that's why Apocalypse was trying to get uh, uh, Professor X body you know what I mean to be able to tap in to everybody and control everybody at you feel me so it's this 
And that same concept is what you're looking at in reality. This reality, which is a matrix. A lot of people call it the matrix. It is a simulation. And your mind perceives it as to be real. Just like what Morpheus said to Neo. You know what I'm saying? Just perceptions um, and fire and receptors of the brain. You know what I'm saying? Just what the brain makes real is what's real to you. And of course, so of course this is a simulation. But great mother, y'all, this is important to know. So these people that's supposed to be off or crazy or cuckoo or whatever, they're tapped in with the universe. They're tapped in with great mother. There's some things happening on this planet right now that great mother, universal prime creator, uh, had to get involved with because it's this destruction of the people and the children for one it's mainly the children what's taking place with the children is the is the real reason why all of this is occurring you know what i mean um besides uh planetary uh solar system and and planetary uh alignments and things that's supposed to happen on that spiritual aspect these these happenings always got to happen there's nobody going to prevent it or, or some people try but you know huh, fails miserably I mean, it's it's a lot that can go into this guy. So, but yeah, I just wanted to highlight that for y'all. Don't let let don't let certain things like this go over your mind. Like, really think about it. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm glad I'm glad that actually came out because that really puts you know what I'm saying gives uh, homage and pays homage to Great Mother because that's that's exactly how the way she feels about the living organisms. Um, most of us. Addendum, April thirtieth, nineteen ninety. Research into potential memetic qualities of SCP-2001 is currently ongoing. Transcript of email from Head of SCP-2001 Research Team to Site Director October 21st, 2000 Level 4 Clearance Required Security memetic deployed The research team and I have just made a rather unsettling discovery regarding SCP-2001. Our suspicions were piqued when we found the journal. First, the writing leading up to the day of the incident was entirely different in tone than the rest of the journal. He rants and raves about space for pages and pages. It's as if he just spewed his brain onto the page. Second, it wasn't something he would ever do. End the lives of five Foundation astronauts the way he did. That's something we neglected to mention about 2001's Alpha Strain. That individuals seeking to interfere with manned space travel will not undertake actions outside their moral reasoning. This yeah. meant that the alpha strain of SCP-2001 was safer than it seemed. Or like so we it? thought. See, we proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that did have SCP-2001. All the symptoms he displayed were completely on target for the alpha strain, with the exception of his final actions. So we researched it. More specifically, we researched the D-Class that he talked to on the day before the crash. We sent about? subjects into her cell and asked her to talk to them. She said just about the same thing to most people, with a couple of exceptions. When she talked to certain subjects, she would pepper her rants with a couple of distinct phrases. And what we discovered was that the individuals who responded to these phrases began to behave in a similar manner to on the day of the crash. By now, I'm sure you can deduce what we learned from these findings. What's that? It appears there is some sort of fourth strain. One that functions differently from any of the three we have encountered before. Mm -hmm. We call it Alpha Prime. It mm -hmm. is a mimetic variant propagated by certain individuals afflicted with the Alpha Strain through the use of several trigger phrases. If a listener responds to those phrases, the symptoms of Alpha Prime begins to develop. Though not much more potent than the regular Alpha Strain in terms of the carrier's attitude towards space exploration, it does have the additional effect of overriding the moral code of its hosts. We don't know exactly to what lengths an Alpha Prime carrying subject would go to prevent us from engaging in manned space travel. Perhaps therein lies the most worrying element of this newfound strain. We know next to nothing about it. It is the opinion of myself and many members of the research team that this information should be kept separate from the official SCP-2001 documentation, including the findings about the moral restrictions of the standard Alpha strain. We don't know how many individuals have succumbed to the words of their Alpha-inflicted colleagues, and we don't want a mass outbreak of paranoia and fear among Foundation personnel. If word spreads about a sociopathy-inducing memetic variant of 2001, we have no idea what could happen within our ranks. Quite frankly, 
we don't want to find out. Standard SCP-2001 checks are still in order for all sites. Tell the mobile task forces to keep rounding up the Alpha strains and sending them to me. After all, we've got the counter names to develop. We secure, we contain, we protect. Yeah, right. Level 4 research head. This concludes hey, yeah. today's lecture. Thank you all for listening, if indeed oh, you still it. are, and you're all dismissed. Oh, shit. Goodbye. Peace, 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 Dr. Miller. Man, y'all see that jump right there, boy? Man, that man. <laughs> hey, man, they don't know nothing, man. They don't know a motherfucking thing. They don't know a motherfucking thing. Not nothing. Not a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Vain. Vain and shallow with that shit, bro. I mean, it's some extravagant stuff going on out there. You know what I mean, but that, that's that's extravagant on the negative side. See what I'm saying? So you can get extravagant on the good side, extravagant on the negative side. Um, to be honest with you, from what I understand, from like some studies, from what from what I've read and what I've heard, man was never supposed to leave this planet. Like, wasn't even supposed to go to the moon. It wasn't supposed to go to Mars. And perhaps whatever this uh, anomaly is or entities are or what, whatever's going on with this thing, uh, seeing that it's mind affecting this, most of most species outside the planet uses telepathy. Just just keep that in mind, guys. You know what I'm saying? Keep that in mind. Most of the species use uses telepathy, even even like us back in the day. And when I say us, meaning like like my people. We, we, we basically, when you get into it, we basically made the place. We basically built the planet. We made the planet and everything on it. You know what I mean? Um, so that, that's what makes us conducive to, to, to the planet and conducive to the sun for one. Uh, so, and it's, it's certain things that, that, that took place and certain things. I guess deals that were made that y'all weren't supposed to be doing this. <laughs> and perhaps this is an entity trying to get y'all to stop by coming up with like basically anything that they can come up with or any reasoning that they can come up with to keep y'all from, you know what I'm saying, like busting down the deal that y'all made with these these uh with these grades. You know what I'm saying? Um Cause y'all, I guess, I guess y'all in violation, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to keep y'all from doing what you're doing. But then on another side, uh, other studies show that from the devastation that 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 took place on this planet here, there's entities out there that don't want you to leave this place because you're gonna come out there and you're gonna do the same thing you did here. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's. It's kind of hard to really pinpoint exactly who's in control um, of this situation right now, and that's why they re they really can't contain it. And you see, you hear how confident he sounded, but when he said secure, contain, and protect, he he sounded very confident, didn't he? No, not for real. You know what I'm saying? He was shallow with that. <laughs> it wasn't boastful. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't showing off. Uh, self-indulging it wasn't extravagant you know what i'm saying it was kind of vain and shallow even the information is vain and shallow you know what i'm saying so you get a little bit and then you got these people that's trying to keep y'all from leaving this planet going out into space and they're saying that there's creatures out there which there are the uh, entities out there some i mean we got primordials we got celestials we we got we there's some beings out there that's that's massive i mean vast in size uh shit cthulhu being one um what about what about the other scp that we just did not to a couple days ago how big it was and how it thought you know what i'm saying or thinks that it's in its own dimension that he like what buddy said that's all there is is this thing like everywhere you look it's this thing so you know what i'm saying to into it it feels like it's god so, um, there's a lot of entities out here that want to be God, that want to be the, the universal prime creator. But um, unfortunately, there's only one and she, she, yes, she, do your, do your research. Do not argue with, 
me. Do your research because I too done mine. And that's how I come to the conclusion. And so I'm saying she. <laughs> uh, yeah. Is the one. All right. And she, everything else got a spark. Well, not everything else. Most things got the spark. If you don't have the spark, <clears throat> I don't know what to tell you. I don't really know what to tell you. You're not what you think you are. I'm going to say it like that. If you don't have the spark, you are not what you think you are. And there's some people here that know that. And that's why I say species on the planet. Because there's a lot of species on the planet. And there's a lot of people on the planet that think that they're human and they're not. And there's a lot of humans on the planet that think that they're alien. And they, they possibly <laughs> could be. And some are not. Some are just what they are. You know what I'm saying? Not alien. You, you're, uh, you're earthbound. You're earthborn, should I say. You're earthborn. You're from this planet. You know what I mean? And there's others that's on the planet that's not from the planet. And it's going, it's going to go full circle. It's going to be a lot of, a lot of shock, shocked faces out there. You know what I mean? Um, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here for it. To be honest with y'all, I'm actually here for it. I'm stoked. I'm stoked because it's a long time coming uh, as the age of Aquarius comes on in, you know what I'm saying? It begins to pick up that speed, that full effect, you know what I'm saying? The truth and the veil slowly but surely lifts up and everybody faces slowly but surely looks up like, oh my, oh my, oh my. And it's like, oh, the gods. Oh, wow. Yeah, we've been here the whole time. Don't worry. It's okay. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. They got everybody. They fooled everybody, but it's fine. It's fine. It's over now, and we're here, and, you know, let's let's move on. Can we try to move on? Can we move on from that? Anyways, Academates, I hope y'all like the video. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments section. Do not be shy. Talk to the guy. You know what I'm saying? Talk to me. Don't be shy. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Anthrax crowd, you know, he come through. Salute to you, you know what I'm saying? He come through with, with, with more suggestions and, and places that we should look in and more files that we should go over, whether, you know what I'm saying, we in the field or we in or we here in the office with Dr. Miller, you feel me? This is what we here for, you know what I mean? So don't be shy, y'all talk to the guy, you know what I mean? Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, for them, them guys in the back back there, you feel me? I always want to play, play games in the shadow and stuff, so, you know, they always back there. Don't forget they always back there. They always looking. They knows. The fat one always looking. He knows. You feel? So we got to watch out. <laughs> we got to watch out for him and them. And you know what I'm saying? You know when bison slide through, you already know what happened. Y'all see what happened to my pewter the other day? Y'all saw that, right? It was weird, huh? And we, we was watching the vigil. We was watching the vigil. And it popped up. It just blew through. Like what? So, yeah. I appreciate y'all joining me this evening. Y'all keep your head on that swivel. Don't forget to keep yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally protected. Do not let the world drive you crazy. Um, y'all keep y'all CT on at all times. Critical thinking. Just like uh, one of the staff members, Miss Lady. Miss Lady and the staff. You know what I'm talking about? She did pull Space Odysseys out. That's 1968. I'm, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking I know what, know what this film is. I think I know what this is. But when, when we cut up out of here, I'm going to go and look it up and see if I actually know what this movie is. Uh, or if I even remember somebody speaking about it in 2001, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm about to look into this because I, I found that kind of interesting. Um, but in, in the meantime, in between time, y'all be good. Y'all be easy. Uh, stay in the green. Continue to vibe high. And uh, we'll see you on the other side.